would like to say thank you for the people who are here today, also that decided to very close to Christmas, take this evening to see some uh, cool projects. Welcome. I, of course, am very excited to be here, and I want to know if you're also excited the same as I am. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes, I am very excited. <laughs> cool, everybody. So, hello, Ben. I would like to start, um, apart from this warm, warm welcoming, um, I'm going to present all the projects tonight. We have seven apps created, and as usual, I have a few words to share with you tonight. So, um, we are here for this celebration of the Demo Day. It's the fifth batch in Barcelona, the fifth. And I have to say that this last year and the, these last 12 months were a crazy journey, crazy journey. I feel privileged that I have the chance to do what I love, teach, but not only this, because I get so many lessons also from you and from this experience that I would like to share some of them with you. When I quit my job two, two years ago, I didn't know really what to do, but I have one thing in mind. I really wanted to became, become an entrepreneur. That's, that was the thing I was focused on. So I decided to travel, I decided to learn to code, and I went to Levagon in Brussels, some of you know. And when I finished Levagon, I had the chance to, here in Barcelona, to start Levagon, to bring this um, cool, business to this city and um, so you know I was um, really excited about that but I have to confess that I was freaking out I was afraid because every new journey in life always um, you know impact with our own being you know starting um, a new thing transformation leave everything behind and then start from scratch. So I started to run a few workshops here and there, and I still remember that uh, when I organized the first workshop in Meetup, I was uh, laying my couch at home 30 minutes before the beginning of the workshop and thinking with myself, what, am I, what the hell am I doing? You know, like, I'm going to this workshop and meet people I don't know to talk about code. Um, but there was one thing, one voice inside of me pushing me forward and saying, you can do it. You can do it. You are prepared. You know what you're doing. So just go there and do it. So for me, the lesson number one was that positive thinking is powerful thinking. I think the best way to achieve your dreams is to touch it a little bit every day in your life. And if you put hard work and focus the chances of success are proportionally as high as, as the amount of work you put on it, and passion above all. And then I started Livagon, and then after three batches, I found this uh, space, this warehouse. It was falling apart, and it was a good opportunity. So believe me, it took like tears and blood to make it like a nice space, and uh, was really, really challenging. And when it was done, I was again laying in that couch there and sitting there and feeling weird because I longed for, for you know, many, many months to open a space like this. I was running my business and then I was just feeling that, you know, this success, this goal that I achieved was not making me more happy. So for me, the lesson number two was that by only achieving goals in life, chances are that you're gonna have empty days looking for something meaningful every time. So basically, today, uh, after these five batches, I am here to share what I'm very sure that after sharing all these um, lessons with you and getting so much from you, I am sure that by Appreciating the things we have, respecting ourselves, learning from our mistakes, celebrating our success, but above all, being grateful by the things you have is the only way of living a fulfilling life. 
So I would like to say thank you very much for sharing these two months with me and letting me be your driver. Thanks a lot, guys. I feel honored. Seriously. So we are here because two months ago you decided that you wanted to learn to code and change your lives. Right? Um, that's great because I think after these two months of learning hard skills, coding, product development, startup mindset, I don't know you, but I have the feeling that you finish this experience knowing way much more about yourself than you started. Right? So we are here to celebrate not the end of this boot camp, but we are here to celebrate the new beginnings on your lives, this new journey. So we are here to celebrate you, 22 people from all over the world that made it and are starting a new journey right now. Congratulations. <laughs> but let's cut it to the chase because it's showtime. It's the moment that you're gonna showcase the amazing apps you built on the last two weeks of this program. Was it easy? <laughs> but you counted with the amazing support of nice teachers and TAs, right? Yes. So let's start with the first project. We have seven apps to present today. And the first app is about travel. And the interesting thing is that in every batch of Le Wagon, there is always people coming up with amazing ideas about travel. So that makes me think that there is something to be done in this industry for all of us travelers. I think we are just like sick of the same websites, the same tips, you know, everything is so, um, you know, for the masses. I think we need inspiration. And every day, millions of people share on Instagram, on the social networks, pictures of amazing places, idyllic mountains, skylines, amazing lakes, and how many times you look to these pictures and you think, I would just like to be there right now. Did you feel this way? Yeah. yeah? So I think these guys here from the Peak and Travel have the solution. So come please to the stage, the team of Peak and Travel. <laughs> Welcome, Omar, Emilio, and Martin. Good night, everyone. How's everybody doing? Good. good? Yes. I'm excited. And I really identify with this app. And I hope that in this conversation, I will make you identify with it as well. We had the amazing idea of constructing an app that will make a bridge between your dreams, trips, and re to reality. How does it work? Come with me to a second. If we think how many times have you been in a conversation with friends, family, even by yourself at home? If you're thinking, wow, like scrolling on your computer or going to Facebook, going to Instagram, whatever, and you're, you're thinking, that environment looks so great. Look at that Bora Bora beach, it's amazing. That igloo in Finland, I wanna be in that place. How many times have that hype like come up to here, you're building your dream trip, you're building every, this idea, amazing trip? it never comes through. Like it all ends here. Why does that happen? Because we're living in a new society of instant things. We are a very fast paced technological society that we don't want to be like searching for trips. We don't like to be searching for hotels, for a good restaurant, for whatever. So this is where picking a picture to travel got born, pick and travel. It all starts with a picture. It all starts for you to get inspired. Today, I have the opportunity to tell you about how it works, but if you're a new user, you could here scroll down, see how it works. But please join me today to get inspired together. So let's click on Get Inspired. As soon as you get, you, you get into our homepage, you have several pictures scrolling down. They have all been trips created by different users. It's a very easy way for you to get ideas, you're going down, you're going down, then you see 
For example, uh, in this case, I really like uh, the, the trip in Paris. So I'm going to try to book it. I just click in the picture or in New York, whatever you feel like. <laughs> as soon as I click in the picture, we are, got, we, we are redirected to what is called our booking page. In this booking page, you get more details about what you're seeing. So then you have your price of how much will it cost. You have the hotel link. In this case, it's Trump Hotel. If you click on the Trump Hotel link, it will take you to the, ho to the actual hotel to make your own reservation. Uh, but since, it, since uh, it's going to take a while to click on every link, we're just going to make this example. Uh, you also have the opportunity to see what other activities the user has shared. It's, for example, restaurants, it could be a hiking trip, it can be uh, renting a, I don't know, a motorbike in whatever place you want. And we also, if we scroll down a little bit more, oh, in this case, uh, since I'm the user that created that, I don't have the opportunity to book it. So uh, let's go back to the homepage. And we can see better in Jacob's Zurich Swiss Travel. If we go there and we go to book it again, uh, we'll find that uh, we'll have all the trips, all the trip, all what you need to do a trip to. Then, uh, as soon as I fill out the information, I'm able to go and travel whatever I want to. And uh, in this moment, uh, all the problem that comes with it, with researching whatever, is just simplified into mimicking what other people's experience have been. And you, by the pictures, You'll get interested, you'll get inspired, you'll get in love with whatever they, they did. You just want to recreate it. So you are ready to pack your bags to go on a trip and have the fun that you are seeing in the pictures. That dream comes true. But what, what if, if you already had a nice trip, if you already have that amazing ideal trip that you, that you want to share with people, they want people to have the same experience as you because you had a great time in it. So that's why we also created the users opportunity to share the trip they had. So if you, you probably, oh, sorry, I, <laughs> I was skipped. Let's go back to the homepage one second. There is a very important thing in getting inspired that you probably like have a general idea where you, where you want to go, but you don't know exactly what place. So instead of searching for cities or for countries, we had the idea of creating these categories to, for you to filter your trip. So, Let's say I'm re really tired of the cold in Barcelona. I want to go to a beach, so I'll just click in the bathing suit. It will take me to the beach trips that I want to go. So, or another example, if I've been lately, like, uh, I don't know, tired of the city or whatever, and I want to go to a mountain and experience a new environment, I'll just click in the mountain, and it will take me to all the trips that, of mountains to have recreational things, hiking, uh, going out to the, to the camp, and have a lot of fun. So once you, you like a trip, you are also able to save it. If you click on save it, it will, it will be in your profile that you can find on your top right. You go to your page. There's three different tabs. My chair trips are the ones that I created that other people are seeing to mimic as well. The saved trips are the ones that I just saved. And also, uh, you can from here book them as, as well, but you have them at least uh, uh, in a list where you can do it later. And we also added a, a very cool feature that's my trips map where you can see all the places that you have been and all the places that you want to be. So the red pins in this case are the ones that you have created and the blue airplanes are the, are the ones where you want to be. Uh, so right, uh, in that way you have a nice recollection of the places that you want to be, where you have been, and to make your experience grow even further. Now is the turn of the, the people to create their own trips. You probably have noticed already the blue plus button on the bottom right corner that has followed us the whole, the whole journey. And if we click there, we're going to be redirected to the opportunity of creating a trip. Now, this is where it, where it comes interesting because in today's social media, we see that people create a lot of content, but they are actually never credited with it. They are like, they, you, don't, you don't have any money from it. In this case, we are planning to make this trip that you created affiliated to uh, commissions for the trips that you create. So people are uh, inspired, they, are, they have the incentive of the trips that they're creating. The more they are, they are get booked through our page, 
they will receive a percentage of commission from it. So if you already have, for example, an affiliate URL, then you can just link it through our page and, it, and as soon as you are redirected to the page to book it, you'll get profit from it. Or also we are, we are talking to booking.com uh, to see if we can affiliate the actual travel flights through them and also get the profit that you want from sharing your trip. And now when we create the trip, we can see that the trip has been created with all your specifications and another person is prepared and ready to see it, appreciate your experiences, and have fun as well as you did. So that dream that they had to make a, an amazing trip after all your work to make it worth it, now they have the opportunity to do it in a very fast, simple way. Thank you very much. I'm oh, sorry. One last thing. I, wanna, I also wanted to thank my teammates, Omar, that's leaving tonight. So. Let's give a round of applause to Omar. Mar Martin, that's not here, she had to leave. She was the creator of the app in, in, in itself, and myself, Emilio. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Very good, guys. So let's move on. We started already with a very strong, with a very cool project, but we have more to come. And um, we talked about travel, right? And sometimes we really wish that, it could be, that we could be in another place right now. But there is also opportunities untapped in our hometown in many cases. Sometimes you live in a place and you're always doing the same thing, going to the same places, and then you don't know that there are so many options for leisure, culture, that you can enjoy from your home city but you don't know where to start, right? So basically, these guys here created the solution for discovering events on your hometown and really enjoy, again, the city you live. So please come to the stage, the people from FINE. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Pierre Alessi. I'm from France. And today I would like to talk to you and present you the project that we have built here uh, at Le Wagon uh, with my friends Maddy and uh, Nicolas, who is over there. So basically, in order to start, I just have one question to ask you. So let's take a, I don't know, someone here. Where is maybe Yuzu? Ah, yeah, Yuzu is there. Don't hide. What are you doing this weekend, Yuzu? You're not sure? Ah. I feel like everybody here in this room have the same problem, right? Maybe you, sir, you have this problem, I guess, no? No? No, I've, yeah. Well, this is really something that I experience every weekend, every time when I have free time, I don't know what to do. And actually, I don't want to spend my free time searching for things to do during my free time. This is completely stupid. And this is why we've decided to build this app. So basically, Fine is a mobile app that is built to help people find um, very good, uh, I mean, cool things in their city and don't spend too much time doing it. How does it work? Basically, you know, I think, I know that some of you here uh, use the app Tinder. I think all of you knows it, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, basically, Fine is exactly the same with events. So how does it work? Fine is a mobile app where you can discover, sort, and attend all kinds of events from all uh, categories in a very easy, fast, and intuitive way. So let's start with, a, uh, so let's do a demonstration. So in order to start the demonstration, you first, of course, have to log in on the app. So let's go on my account, and I arrive on this page in order to discover events from any kind of categories. Here, as you can see, we have uh, a concert uh, by Hill Saint Saul, uh, and this is in the category music. But basically, we have a huge amount of categories. You can find anything you want from music, sports, it could be business related events, it could be uh, political events, and here in Barcelona, we know that there are a lot now. So, this is really something that could be useful for anybody at any moment and everywhere. So, the second thing that we can do on the app 
is to sort events. Because it's nice to discover things, but what we want, we want, we want to manage our calendar. And we want to say, if I like it, I don't like it, or do I want to know some more? And basically, at Fine, we have decided to build some cool features in order to do this. So you can do basically three things on this page. You can first like uh, an event by swapping it on the right. Uh, you can also dislike an event if you think that this selfie Sunday is not really interesting. interesting. But for instance, if I don't know uh, what big byte, what does brand mean to your business really means, I can just click on the event and then I can access all the other information uh, related to the event, like the address, the date, uh, or the description. So actually, here on uh, Find, you really uh, discover and like events only based on your pure interest for the event. You don't really care about if you are already uh, available or if you know where it is. You only care about your interest for the event. But this is not all. It's cool to find, to discover things, to uh, say if I like them or not. But what we really want to do, I think all of us here, is to attend event. And we have thought about it, and this is why we've decided to build a calendar manager for each of you uh, that is using the app. You only need to click on the top right, and on this calendar, you can find again all the events that you have liked, and actually find them based on uh, the date, uh, like for instance, uh, events that you have liked that are happening today, those that, are, that will be happening tomorrow or this weekend, and you can also search for them, for instance, if you want to find uh, those that are related to music, you just need to, to write music and all the events related to music will then appear. But this is not all. We thought about something more powerful. So what we want, uh, when you have, for instance, this card, you maybe want to know more about this event again and click on it. Then you arrive on this page and this page actually you can find all the information that is important for you. But not only. Uh, usually when I go, uh, when I'm doing, I mean attending an event, I like also to share with friends this experience. And we've thought about it and this is why we've created a share button that actually allows you to share the button, on, uh, to share, sorry, the event on Facebook simply by clicking on it. But basically, I mean, attending event with friends is cool, but you can attend event if you don't book your ticket before. It's always a pain. And we, we have also thought about it. And this is why by clicking on the button, the blue button that is there, well, you will be redirected to the booking platform in order to book uh, tickets and really attend event. So this is what a user can actually do on the app. But we have thought also uh, to calendar uh, to event organizers and businesses that would like to create events on the app. And this is why we have created uh, the opportunity for the, um, for the businesses to also create some events on the app and uh, see statistics on events they have created. Um, and the last feature that I would like to show you is that for, for the, this is a beta version, but actually, it might be surprising, but the app is already available in all over the world. In any city in the world, you will have events there. And actually, we haven't built them. We haven't done anything. Why? Because the app is powerful enough to understand where you are and automatically find events and things to do where you are. You could be in a huge city like Paris, London, New York, or you could be in a smaller city, for instance, around Barcelona or any, anywhere in the world. In order to show you this, you can um, maybe, maybe just update the city uh, where you are. So for the moment, as you can see, I'm supposed to be in London. This is a bit false, but for the moment, I'm in London. But for instance, if I decide to uh, travel somewhere else and not ch I change my location, and I want to uh, also use the app in this place, um, maybe I can just ask, uh, yeah, maybe I could just ask Victor if you have a, a city. Mm. Yeah, and actually, as I'm French, I know the city, but maybe some people here do, don't know the city. The city is very cold, in a very cold place in France, and basically nobody could even imagine that there are events there. But actually, these pe people there really need to find things to do because staying at home the, with a cold weather is really a pain. So these people, I think, I mean, and your family maybe uh, could tell, they want to go out also. And for instance, so if we update the place, now we are in Annecy here. And then we can just check. Well, actually, we also have events on the, on the, in, uh, in Annecy. 
And actually, this is why this app is super powerful and can already be used anywhere in the world. So thank you very much for for uh, for, for this presentation. I just would like before to introduce uh, my, uh, to re recap my team, Madi, and also Nicolas over there with a great mustache. Uh, so <laughs> and and I hope you will use it uh, if you are coming back to your home city. Well, it's usable. And uh, if you use it and share it with friends, I will be very happy to receive some feedback in order to improve it, because it is still a better version. And we know that with your feedbacks, and we can really improve this tool and make it really useful for everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Really cool. You basically built even more functionalities that Tinder has in only two weeks. That's mind-blowing, I think. Um, and now, talking about the experiences, I think you're going to agree with me that one of the best things in life is eating and discovering food and amazing restaurants. Who agrees with me? Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, but when it comes to restaurants, it's really easy because you have a lot of guides, online guides out there. You can check TripAdvisor, um, El Tenedor here in Spain, because you know where to find a restaurant. It's there. It's not going to move his address. But what about the food trucks? How can you know where they are? It's only luck. You know, you're, you're walking on the street, you see a food truck. But what if you can know where they are and... Even more, take away your food and eat outside. So please say hello to follow the truck. So food, it was about time. And really, more than food, it's about lunch breaks. How many times it took you actually 50 minutes to get to the place, pick the place, look for the place, go to the place, get your order, and finally, you are only left with five minutes for eating and five minutes to race back to the office so you can eat, actually, back at the office. And that's really a shame, especially in a town such like Barcelona, so lovely and sunny. And that's what Follow the Food Truck is about. It's about enjoying your lunch breaks, have actually lunch break, actually breaks, <laughs> and eat outside. And that's what we are about. Empower you to finally enjoy every meal. And so if you get to the home page, obviously you can already browse through all the food trucks we have already listed. But since we are in a hurry, we're gonna just look for the closest one around there. So Camille. If you'd be so kind as to find us the closest place. Well, great, three of them then. So let's check what we have. Mm, let's go for one, two, three, Algeria. Mother country, so. And so you can, once you've selected your place, uh, obviously you can order from them. You get the meals they prepare. So yeah, let's have. A bunch. Couscous and selecto, right. Let's order. You've got your order recap, so obviously with the meals you selected, the amount you have to pay, and let's pay. So, well. D yeah, don't try to, to use those credit card info. They won't work. <laughs> And then it's done. You just have to pick your food, pick up your food, and if you click on the address, you actually redirect it to Google Maps so you can know your way. Be more efficient always about it. Great. So, but now it's also, it's not only about an happy customer, it's also about the truck owners and we thought about making their life easier as well. And well, and obviously, so they can manage their business directly from the food truck, so with a uh, tablet. And let's check first the orders that we received. So, well, where you can see the, the, so the order that, that we're 
asked by the, by the customer, accept them, decline them. If you don't like money, you can still do it. Thanks. I guess I won't be eating tonight. Um, and then, but more than that, you can actually set up your business with our app. And yeah, if you feel like you might work. You actually have your planning for the coming month and the places will you be at that time. Obviously, you can add your meals. If you want to change recipes, price, whatever, you, you do what you want. And then, obviously, since as a food truck, you move around, and you might have a few locations. And the point is, you can add a bunch of them. And let's add one for the sake. So where are we going? Nearby, I guess. Still in Barcelona. You submit. And you can actually set the address to active so that you make sure that it's the right address that gets into the search results. And you can actually link it also to your calendar. So if we add a date, we can set up our next address, next location for the following week. So from, yeah, final days. And that's done. And you're set up with your food truck. You can start your business. So our team is follow the food truck. So there's Maria hiding out there, the lovely Camille, and myself, Lucas. Uh, thanks for your attention, guys. So let's all follow the truck, guys. This app is absolutely amazing. There's so much work involved, and these guys made it in basically 10 days. Congratulations. <laughs> all right, let's get back to track. Changing the topic a bit. You know that one of the biggest fears of humanity is public speaking. And the second one, is asking for a raise. If you Google how to ask for a raise, there are more than 300 million results with articles and tips to try to help you for that moment of truth with your boss. And I think all of them agree in one thing. If you want to increase your chances to get a raise, you must provide facts. Facts are the key if you want to convince your boss to actually improve your salary. So I'm really proud to present the next app here on the stage today that's gonna help you to make more money on your work. Come to the stage, Wage Finder. Thank you all for coming today. Um, just gonna set up the app here. Special thanks to Laura's mom for bringing us all the delicious cake while we were here. <laughs> A big applause. Thank you. <laughs> big fan of the chocolate. Chocolate was the best one. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start off by asking a question. Does anyone like money? Yes. 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 Uh, me too, and so does IT workers. Um, so, uh, when you want more money, you have to ask for a raise normally, and you do that either in a job interview or on a performance review, uh, often a yearly performance review. But to do that, you need the cold hard facts, like I said. You need to know how much you're worth. You need, like, it can't be too high, it can't be too low, or it shouldn't be too low, at least. So, we made, um, we made a calculator to help you with that. And this is WageFinder. Uh, I'm going to take you through the app now. On the first page here, you can uh, enter your field of IT, your spe specialty. We're going to say we're a web developer. And let's say we worked for three years. So when you click Submit here, the first thing you'll see is the average salary. This is based on government data uh, from Norway, where I'm from. Um, <laughs> uh, and you get this estimate here on top for what you should be making uh, after three years in this field. So, but this is just part of the big picture. You need, you need to know more stuff. So we made a um, report page. You, you can scroll, scroll through the features here. Uh, but we're just going to show you the features instead of this page. So if you click on Get Started, um, you, you come to this page where you're 
asked to input your input your personal data. So on the first uh, in the first field, you enter your yearly salary. Let's say in this case, forty thousand euros. That's four hundred thousand. That's a really good salary. I want to work at Accenture. <laughs> all right. Let's say three years. Uh, as also a web developer, we're all going to be web developer here. Uh, that's what we've been learning, at least. So let's uh, see our report and see what happens. So the first picture you get up is uh, ask for more. Your salary is 40,000, but the average salary is 55,000. So you have a solid case to go to your boss to ask for more. Um, so let's say you do that, and you try, you try your best, but you don't succeed. That's a song, isn't it? <laughs> um, then you might want to know, okay, what can I do with the money that I currently earn? So we made this projected wage page, if you click on it. Um, there you will be able to see your yearly progression, one, two, three, four, five, and 10 years from now. So that could help if you want to repay a mortgage, plan your vacation, plan your investments. Um, but a lot of people won't settle with that. They'll want to look for, maybe they'll want to do like a new career path. So we made a page for that as well. It's called, if you go all the way up, it's called Compare Fields. And here you can see what the different IT fields uh, pay their workers. So the IT leader, obviously, is the highest paying one. Uh, but you also have a system architect and security engineers, which are pretty high and can more easily be, uh, you can more easily take an education to become that, I think. So uh, and you have this data, so you can make an informed decision on which career path to take. Um, and from here, if you don't want to change your field, though, you can always change your company. So we made this browse company page up on top. And if you click it, it shows up here, and it gives you the average wage for your field in your company at your seniority level, which is the first number. And the other numbers are based on, on what different people input in the refine your result page. So this is crowdsourced information. We can see here that Instagram pay their web developers most based on our data. And if we scroll through the pages, one, two, three, four, should probably be more. Um, then we can see um, which company could be our next dream company to work at. Um, and that, that, is, that is the app. And we hope that with, with this data, more IT workers can make informed decisions and ask their boss for more money. All right, my team has been uh, me, myself, Erland, Anthony, and Aaron. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, people, so these four projects were the projects that were designed for mobile, but we also have projects that are designed for your computer and desktop, and we're gonna start presenting them. And I mentioned in the beginning of my speech that it cost me blood and tears to finish this space, and one of the main reasons was that I was having trouble with the people I was hiring to fix stuff, you know, to do all the work. And I have to confess you something. I am a terrible handyman. I'm clumsy. I break things, I get hurt, so <laughs> almost a pussy. <laughs> so basically, um, these guys here created a solution to get rid of this problem. Because if you think that finding trustworthy handymen to help you with your daily fixes at your home, now you're not going to suffer from that anymore. Please come to the stage, the guys from the DDIY. Don't do it yourself. So, hi everybody. Who likes travel? Yeah. Who likes food trucks? Yeah. Who likes DIY? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Erlen's not here? Okay. Um, most people don't like DIY. And most people do not know how much a plumber should be paid. Don't know how much a paint job should cost. I've got, I was in my friend's house the other day, he's got 
radiators that haven't been fixed for two years. He doesn't know what to do. My parents-in-law boiler exploded the other day. They didn't know what to do. Um, I've got a broken window at home. I don't know what to do. Okay, so we've made a website to help people in a situation like this. And here is my friend who's in a situation just like this, and he's going to walk you through the app and show you how it works. Thank you, thank you, Damien. Uh, this is my assistant here, Roman. He'll be guiding us through this tour, this journey. First, uh, I'd like to ask, what do you get when an American, a Russian, an Irish man, and a man from Seville get together? <laughs> Don't answer that question. You get a beautiful app, a beautiful, <laughs> comprehensive, game-changing app. And it's called DDIY, as Damien explained. Don't do it yourself is the concept. And we're all millennials and we don't know how to do anything except for code. S if we know how to do that, Victor knows better than most of us. But uh, this is our app. And our, our group, those of us who are in the class, know specifically that our group is very into imagination. You know, We're inspired by the likes of, of Walt Disney and Steve Jobs, and Kevin Costner in A Field of Dreams, too. So we'd like for you to use your imagination today. Imagine that I am somebody who lives in Barcelona, and I have a room that's falling apart, and I need to renovate it. So I find this website, and I go to this website, and I say I'd like to have a handyman help me with this project. I see immediately I can choose from categories, and I choose handyman. It's the one that says handyman, Roman. <laughs> Actually, I have some plumbing issues. <laughs> and, I <need> a <laughs> and I need a plumber. So then I click book pro, book that professional. <laughs> Our website has some plumbing issues as well, but it, <laughs> it'll get there. Hopefully. <laughs> Refresh. There we go. So now I want to create a job. The title is My Boiler is Broken. That's the problem. And I need a, I need a boiler. I need a new boiler. We can upload a picture of exactly the problem so that when the handyman sees it, they know exactly what to do and they're not any questions about what they need to accomplish. It should be very obvious from that picture what needs to be done. So I can see a list of pros who are plumbers. And um, I want to go down. I don't know about these nefarious fellows. Uh, and I find my good friend Roman. So I'm going to select Roman to help me with this job. And as soon as you click, it takes the information that you put in when you created the job. It brings it to this page where if you were to click send request, it will just send the request. It will send exactly what you put in before. And the request is sent to Roman, who's going to guide us through the next part of this lecture uh, as the worker. Actually, Roman needs to log in first to, uh, to get to his worker profile, so that takes a little bit of time. If you bear with us, I'd like to try some jokes that I've been working on. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you ever think about escalators? <laughs> I think a lot about escalators, especially the man who invented the escalator. He was lazy enough to say, I can't walk up these stairs. But he wasn't lazy enough to invent the escalator. That's an interesting character. I could see a Hollywood movie being about him. Hi, everyone. Um, let's imagine that I'm from Russia. Um, you can ask me why. Uh, I'm saying um, I have two reasons for that because Emilia 
Emilio, ask me saying, for saying me for, say, for saying it. Emilio, wait, I did it. Uh, and the second reason, um, I'm really from Russia. <laughs> so now let's see what we have uh, in our application. Go to the worker profile dashboard. Worker dashboard, John. Let's refresh. Yeah. So now we see here um, a new request from amazing John. Yeah. Let's see what you, um, we can respond because I like this job. Mm, okay. Uh, my boiler is broken. Um, I think it's uh, uh, going to take me two hours. Let's put it. Um, material cost about 200 euros and respond. So now we send, um, we respond for this request and um, now turn John, see what happens next. John. Thank you, Roman. So if we go to my dashboard, we should be able to see the request that Roman sent to us. And there it is. And it says that he's $50 an hour. I think that's reasonable. I see my job's all there. It says the total price because he said 200 for the parts and 50 for each hour, so we can accept. And now we can pay with card. We'll just put in Camille's card. <laughs> if uh, we're verified, okay. And it's paid, Roman is paid. But usually, the way we want that to work is that it would go into an escrow and the website would hold it until the job is done. When the job is done, we say the job is complete as the owner and the money would be released to the worker. Um, this is our site. For uh, the venture capitalists investors in the room, we'd also like to present another idea that we have. Uh, it's called Don't Drink Alone. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to represent uh, our team. Our crazy team, it's uh, Crazy John from California, um, Crazy Damien from Ireland, Crazy Damien from Spain, and I am from Russia. Thank you. <laughs> this pretty much looks like a meeting between Trump and Putin, maybe. <laughs> That must be like this. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so let's say you found a handyman that you can trust. You hire someone. And turns out that it doesn't work. I'm sure that you're going to identify with this problem. How many times you hired a service, you hired a company service, and you were frustrated because they didn't deliver the service they were promising. Think about airlines, telecom, insurance. What can you do as a consumer? How can you defend yourself? It's a big problem for us. But I think these guys here has just an answer for that. So please come to the stage, the guys from Claim Here, Julia and Sergio. Hi, everyone. Well, uh I'm not going to be as funny as the previous group, so I'm really sorry for that. The problem I'm bringing here, I think is a problem, like Gus said, everyone at some point of our life we had, and uh, with the airline, with whatever service, even with the McDonald's, whatever, that you feel like you don't have the right to express your voice. And it's not, that's why we came with this idea to create something for, where people can search for the credibility of the company. You can search how many claims that company have, 
is that company is trustworthy because it's not only like to buy a ser to purchase a service, but sometimes you you have your own company and you want to lie with another company and you want to be sure how the company is seen by the public. So people are going to be like with the, with this app, people is going to be very direct. It's going to be very easy to see it. You're going to be very straightforward. So if we scroll down, we can see how how to work in this app. It's very simple. We search for the company, any company you like, and then you can see how that company is being seen in the public. So let's search for a company, because when I, when, I, when I started to search for Le Wagon and all that, I was like, how do I know it's a good boot camp? So I searched a few websites and all that. So, and now I actually found this website, and I want to see how Le Wagon is seen by the public. And not only that, we're going to see here. So the cool thing about this, like you guys can see, this is the rating where people normally rate, rate the company, rate the app, rate whatever. But then you can see how many claims they have received, how many claims they have answered, what, what is about. And, and that's what we're going to make the difference. We're going to give the chance for the company to give a response, to take some action. So on these responses, the user can rate how it was handled. It. Because the way to... The, the objective of this is not only to criticize, it's to make companies grow. That's why technology grows so fast, because we share the knowledge. Like, all, everyone in the IT world knows how much is the average pay, kind of, because everyone shares, nobody shares up. So this is what we want to do in here. So if we scroll down, you can also see some, com some claims. And as you can see, if we go in one of the claims, for example, you can see what the answer of the company is. And then if we, if we go to our profile, then we can rate how does that company solve. So as you guys can see, you have different claims. You can rate it. It's very visual. So this is how you can check it. But OK, this, we checked how to check the credibility. Now, how are we going to post a claim? Because sometimes it's so hard. When you go to a forum, it's not visual. So we created a way to make a claim. And I'd like to also search for a company, Drivey, because I know we have a teacher that works at Drivey. I want to see how, what's the visual, what people think about it. So let's check. Well, you guys have no claims, so well done to your job. So I want to ask the audience, and if anyone at some point of their life, they had a problem with McDonald's. Did you guys ever had a problem with McDonald's? Yeah? Food not good, whatever, yeah? So. Let's check for McDonald's, see what. So this is the cool thing. You can see the rating there, and we can see how they handle their customers. And this is very important. So not only the rating, but then we can measure from how the, how the customers start to rate and how we finish the claim. So now, for example, if we, let's make a claim against McDonald's. The food was not good. I, the, I, whatever, I don't want to be rude because there's, <laughs> there's more people in the public. Whatever you want to write. Now we're going to have, we're going to have the opportunity after put the claim to act. We're going to give the chance for every company they can register. They're going to have to send their ID, so we're going to, check out if the person actually works for the company so they can handle the complaints. Not only in here, but our complaints are also going to be posted on our Twitter account. So we're really going to knock on the door of the company and say, hey guys, we're talking about you. You guys have to solve this. So this is a way to improve. So let's create the complaint. And now I'm going to act as the manager of McDonald's. I'm sorry. So as the manager, I have the chance to go to my company's website, in this case, in this case like the, the profile page of the company, and I can only answer the claims that are done on my company. So I can go to the last claim, was just created, which you have to refresh. Yeah. So now I can respond to the claim. So I think as McDonald's, one of the things they should do is like, if they want to improve, I'm going to say, you know what? We've been having so many bad claims. I think it's time to 
change the mentality of people think about it. So I'm going to say, I'm really sorry. We apologize, and we're going to be careful with our football. We're going to improve our food policies, and I think that's a step for the future. And now as a user, chicken recipe. As a user, I receive a notification that my message was replied, so I can go to my profile as a user, and I can check, go on the message, and I can check what they replied to me. And I said, you know what? I'm still not satisfied, but it's fair, they are acknowledging, so I'm going to rate their, so I'm going to rate it a three. I'm going to mark a solve, and I'm going to rate it a three. So this way, if we go back to the company's uh, show page, sorry, the company, the McDonald's graphs, yes. So now we can see, you can see on the graphs we're starting to improve. In this, with crowd information, with a lot of data, is going to be very, very valuable. We all can see how the company is credible, and this is really important for us to keep improving. It's a voice to the people. There's no, there's no constraints. It's easy to sign up. It's easy to post, and it's very visual. So I'd like to thank Julia, my, my, my co-worker. And I, once again, I know he's on camera already said this, I'd like to thank our teachers for this really, not only for helping us with the thing, but helping through all the batch. It's very intense, and it's thanks to them that we're all here presenting this, that we didn't have a meltdown, and we didn't. So thank you guys, because you deserve a, a hell of applause apart from us. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I have to make a disclaimer about the information you saw about Le Wagon. And as Trump says, fake. It's fake. <laughs> That's not real data. We are five star boot camp, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> to move on, it's Christmas. It's time for a family. It's time for good food. It's time for gifts. And I think every year is the same. You have your budget but you really want to buy something special to your loved ones. Uh, so the next project here has a really cool solution, not only to keep track of the gifts and the things you'd like to shop online, but also to get interesting notifications that will make your shopping experience way better. So please come to the stage. Our colleagues of Save It, Laura, Yuzu, Jacob, and Andrea. Who likes online shopping? Yeah. Cool, well me too. I love online shopping. I think it's really convenient. I like to do it when I'm just having some free time, when I'm commuting, looking for gifts. But I'm not a decisive shopper. So it means that I like to go back, I like to check different prices, to check different colors. And sometimes doing that, it means that I miss a sale. So we came up with Save It, which is an online tool, which means that you can track your products and it will give you notifications if there's any dro uh, price drops. So let's see how it works. So you can browse all your favorite websites like you normally do. And then when you find something that you like, you just, it's really easy, you just copy the URL and then you save it and then we'll keep a track of it for you. So if there's any price drops, it will give you a notification, and then you can just buy it when you're ready. So let's try it. Let's see how we go. So I have just come back to Europe, and I'm in the market for some house products. So let's go to IKEA, and we'll see what we can find. Um, so I think I need a bed. Let's start with a bed. Okay, so I think I would like a double bed. And hmm, this white one looks nice. Let's do that one. Yep, perfect. Great. So this one works for me, and all I now have to do is just copy the URL, and then we go back to the site and drop it in and start saving. And it's as easy as that. It just saves the page, and you've got it there. You can see the price and... It's nice and easy. 
So I've actually got a lot of products saved in my own uh, profile. So if we go and look at that, and I've been saving some things over the last few weeks. So these are all my items that I've been browsing through. And actually, as you can see at the top, I've got some notifications, because as it's Christmas, there have been some sales on. So let's have a look and see what, what's been on offer. So there's a black fluffy zebra stripe jumper that I was keeping my eye on. And luckily, it's come down in price. So we can click on that. Perfect, it's great. Um, and the reason I got a notification is because I've put in my ideal price, so it knew that at $25, I'm happy with it. So I think we can buy this one. And although you can't see it right now, it will be tracking the prices in this graph, so you can kind of keep on, on track of where all the prices are as, as it progresses. So let's just buy this one. And then it takes you back to the original site. And as you can see, there's been a price drop. Um, so let's go back. And another really cool feature, I don't know if it's just me, but when it comes to Christmas, I can never think what I want. Um, so we can actually favorite some of these items. And so I might just keep this black jumper. Let's favorite that. And let's go to my wish list. So here is my wish list of all the things that I would like for Christmas. And I can actually send it to my mum to let her know what I would like. And it's as easy as that. I just put in my, her email address and off it goes. And then she knows what to get me for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's the festive season. So hopefully you, if you're missing out on anything to inspire your loved ones for what you want to buy, you could use our app. Um, and yeah, so we are Save It, so that I'm Laura, this is Yuzu, and then we've got Andrea and Jacob. Thank you. All right. Hello. Okay, everybody. These were, these were the seven apps they built in the last two weeks. Let's go quickly back to our presentation. Of course, we, can, uh, we are now at the end of the batch. It's time to say goodbye, new beginnings. And we cannot end this evening without just saying a big thank you to these guys here. João, Ben, Juliette, Margot. Miguel, Eline, Inu, Oli, Albert, Lars, Victor, and then. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. We cannot do this without you, so thanks for being on board, all right? Um, the next batch is the number 129, starting on the 22nd of January here in Barcelona. So you, current students, future coders, are already invited to come back to Le Vagon and see and meet the new students. Now it's time for some celebration. and. Thanks again for letting me be your driver. Remember, when it comes to learning, there is no final destination. Thanks a lot.